hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is very much of a combined autumn Christmas haul. I have just been accumulating a few things over the last couple of weeks. Not enough to do full dedicated videos for each brand slash shop, but I thought I would compile it all into one video. So autumn lovers out there, Christmas lovers out there, I hope that you will enjoy this video. There are a few like home decor pieces as well for like all year round and random bits and bobs. It's a complete miscellaneous haul, but I'm excited to film it nonetheless. So we do have some clothing. I picked up some bits from H&M and this parcel has actually just arrived, so I'm yet to even open it. I have something from Matalan. We've got some supermarket, Sainsbury's, Aldi, Lidl, Matalan. I've already said Matalan. Let's just get into this. So I feel like we might as well start with the clothes that I did pick up. There were a few things that I wanted to get my hands on on H&M. One of which was a shacket, a very seasonally appropriate. They didn't have it in stock in my size. So what I decided to do was pick it up in the only size that they did have anyway. Try it out. It's an extra, extra large. It's probably going to be way too big because it is already an oversized fit. But it is lovely. Um, but yeah, an extra, extra large. We'll see. So it's got the double-breasted pockets, the tortoiseshell buttons. It's just a really good layering piece for the autumn weather. I feel like the length of it is really good as well. It's one of them things that you can still be quite casual and comfy wearing, but yet you look really put together. So even if it is just like a nice dog walk that we're going on, but then we're maybe going for a pub lunch afterwards. To wear something like this, you kind of feel nice and cozy and warm, but also put together at the same time. Let's just try this on whilst we've... Okay, excuse this attire because it is currently warm in this house. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I have shorts and t-shirt on. Um, oh, this is very big, but do you know what? I'm gonna layer like hoodies and stuff underneath. I feel like, could we roll the sleeves up or not because of the lining? What do we think? Oh, I do love it. I really hope it comes back in stock in maybe like a medium would be good. And they had a couple of other patterns, like checked patterns as well, very plaid American. I also wanted to get a couple of basic vests tees type thing to wear with um like either casually with joggers or dress up a little bit with some smart trousers and a blazer so i picked up this one in a medium and oh i forgot to tell you the price of the jacket 34.99 is practically a coat as well so it's really affordable and uh these vests are only 5.99 each so yeah i got this light green sage green kind of color in um a medium it's like a ribbed as well. It's actually really thick. I would probably just honestly wear this bra. So I know a few people might ask. You could wear a strapless bra maybe, but it is quite a racer, racer back and front style. I picked up one in white too. Again, in a medium. Just a really good little basic. I got these trousers, which I kind of had. Oh, they're a bit greeny. I had all intentions of wearing this outfit for an event I had, but the parcel didn't arrive in time. I was gonna wear it with this white top and then maybe a blazer if needed, but it's just a pair of tapered high waist trousers. They're in a size 10. There's no like specific kind of hardware detailing on the front. There are pockets and a kind of darted design, but it's just like a hidden zip and it's actually an elasticated waist. So I feel like they're gonna be quite comfortable. I'm not really that keen on like jeans anymore unless they're comfortable. I just can't be dealing with uncomfortable trousers. So I thought this would be a nice alternative to wear to things like events and you know, out and about shopping maybe. You could layer up with like a blazer over the top or a coat in winter. If you just want a slightly smarter trouser. But yeah, can you see they're a kind of sage green color. I was expecting them to be beige, but I mean, this coat is a beige oatmeal colour. Can you see the difference? I picked up a pair of ribbed leggings. This gorgeous creamy kind of colour is beautiful. I picked these ones up in a medium. These leggings were $12.99 and they are just a simple basic cream ribbed legging. I'm hoping these are going to fit really nice with... Oh, they're very stretchy. I feel like they're going to be really comfortable. Wow, they're quite big. Okay, I did see online that they said these sized up 
quite big but I still went for a medium anyway just because I thought mm, people say they're size big but I want them to be comfy for lounging into but they are very stretchy these ones so you probably could you know size down even the legs like super stretchy so yeah hopefully they're gonna be really comfortable i also picked up another pair of leggings now i already own these in black they're in like the sports range active seamless high waist 74 percent recycled polyamide and they are a high-waisted ribbed again but these are a completely different rib to these these i probably wouldn't be comfortable wearing these out the house or if i did they'd have to have like a nice long jacket to cover my bum these are like sports leggings you could wear a little crop top with they're that supportive and thick 17.99 these ones are a kind of autumn shades we're going with the camels the creams the browns the cozy colors speaking of brown and i know i just slated jeans <laughs> But I got a pair of brown jeans. Now these are clusters loose mom fit high waist ankle length from the divided range. I got these in a 10. There's a bit of give to them. They are a little bit stretchy. And because they're a looser leg, I thought they'd be quite a nice fit. With a little turn up at the bottom. And how rich and chocolatey brown is that? In fact, it would go quite nice with this t-shirt that I got from Primark. £12.99 these were. Super affordable. Wow, this looks so different to the image online. It's more like a light oatmeal kind of color. Interesting. Um, so anyway, it's just a loose fit open cardigan. I got this in a medium. Quite a thin lightweight cardi actually. Everyday attire, white tee or white little um, vest underneath with some leggings. And that was $17.99. What else did I get? I also got, oh yeah, this oversized top at $19.99. I thought this would be again a good basic and something i don't really own many of it's like a long sleeved cotton t-shirt material but long sleeved and the sleeves aren't tight so this i just thought would be a good alternative to a t-shirt when it's getting a little bit cooler in a medium at 19.99 then i got these trousers for like around the house chilling but quite nice looking so they're in a beautiful stone color or a medium these look like they might be a little bit too big for me i want to say wide leg but it's more like a slight flared leg i find that's quite a slimming cut when they're a little bit more flared at the bottom but a bit more fitted around the thigh now these were only 19.99 and then last but not least i got a lovely rich chocolate brown oversized t-shirt i did size up in this one to a large and it's from the divided range so it's super affordable at only 6.99 so again this sort of tea with cycle shorts in the summer leggings in the winter pajama top everyday top however you want to wear it that is everything that i picked up from h&m okay i guess i'll move on to matalan now just because i did get one clothing item from matalan it is from the menswear section in the sale in an extra large again another basic tee this one was only three pounds so the h&m one was affordable this one's even more affordable mushroomy taupe kind of color so everything else that i got from matalan it's beginning to look a little bit more festive now i did get a couple of non-festive items so i'll show you them first this i've actually seen online and i was tempted to pick it up but i ended up waiting until i went into store to have um, a quick look around so i picked it up it's a hessian peg bag four pounds and it's more like i feel like it's going to be better outside the one that we've currently got is like a bucket so it just gathers all the water when i've left it out accidentally and it's rained so uh, this is just going to be better suited for that i feel and it's also much bigger and can fit all of our pegs in because the other one is overflowing and only four pounds i thought that was really reasonable i also picked up from matalan three a set of three vegetable bags three pounds so a pound each i thought was really affordable it's got a little khaki toggle shirts now to be honest with you it's the main one i wanted was the big one at the back for our potatoes i'm just lacking some bigger ones i've got plenty of smaller ones but they'll always come in handy not only for in the kitchen but for all around the house and then these last few bits were all in the clearance and they were all christmasy bits so they must be clearing out some of their last season stock maybe ready for introducing their new christmasy bits in so anyway i got this gift bag they had quite a few of these actually. They're only 50p, reduced down from £1.50 and it says celebrate the good times, hashtag blossoms up, hashtag chin. And then I've got these two candlesticks, plain and simple. I need to sneeze. On the top, they actually have 
a little section for whether you want like a church candle like a tall thin one or whether or not you want a pillar candle to stand on there which I think I will have maybe some like white company pillar candles on there that smell lovely so just plain and simple stone kind of creamy color they did have them in red as well hence why I think they were maybe festive from a previous year now these were originally six pound and four pounds but they're in the sale for two pounds and one pound bargain and then last but not least we got this cute little guy this festive polar bear this one again was in the sale from eight pounds down to three they had some similar to this in poundland last year actually much smaller i did an aldi shop this morning and i've put the food bits away but i did pick up two things which i thought i would share with you so the first one being this scrub daddy it's not seasonal, but it is um, one of their pet limited edition ones, special edition ones. And it's in the shape of a little dog, which I thought was so cute, but it is kind of in the Halloween-y colour. You guys know I love my cinnamon bun lattes. In fact, I actually have one, so I'll show you that next. But these I spotted in Aldi. I've never seen this flavour before, so I'm excited to try this one. Hopefully it'll be a new fave chocolate and caramelized hazelnut latte yum okay sainsbury's that is where i spotted the cinnamon bun lattes the lattes <laughs> they were on offer as well i think like half price and then i also got some decaf capsules for myself i am preferring decaf i might have one of these like in an afternoon as a little treat but otherwise, I tend to stick to decaf. I did pick up some more apple cider vinegar. Contains the mother. That's the one you need. This is for myself and Tom in the morning. So just do a little shot of apple cider vinegar. Good for the gut. Ooh. I'll tell you what else is good for the gut. Treats. They have the festive treats now in Sainsbury's. So apart from the taste the difference free from range, they have some chocolate and clementine shortbreads. They also have the apple crumble cookies. It says with apple pieces and sweet spices. And then also from the free from range, they have uh, caramel apple crumble slices, which is a bit of me. I love an apple crumble. In fact, I'd say apple crumble is my favorite dessert with ice cream or cream though. Can't do custard. Oh, I got some more coffee capsules because I've never seen these ones. So prep now are stocking the supermarket shelves so we've got costa in there we've got starbucks we have cafe nero ones that i've bought in the past and now prep as well and then i've got some spiced ginger tea whenever i'm having like a herbal tea i don't drink english tea but i do love ginger the flavor of ginger i'm obsessed with i love it I've never seen this scent from Yankee Candle before so i thought i would pick it up to try it's from um Yankee Candle in white pine cones and it smells so fresh like you're in a forest but quite fresh as well so they were £3.50 and then I also picked this one up in the sale for £2 I think it says 67 the receipt £2.67 it was half price and it's one of these measurers which I love the gold uh, definitely looking to get more of these sort of gold utensils within my kitchen so it's a measure so it's like bar utensils to pop in a shot and then pour it into the cocktail mixer but i guess you could just use it for any drink that you're making and um, so it's just a perfect single measure unit and i just love the look of it it was in the clearance i was drawn in by the sale price tag okay so a couple of ritter sport chocolates you guys know i'm obsessed i love these so much always remind me of duty free because i feel like you always see these in duty free when you're going on holiday so a couple of new flavors that i've never seen before yogurt honey hazelnuts and this one in particular sounds right up my street white mango passion fruit i love white chocolate so i feel like i'm really gonna like that one that leads us nicely onto some bits that i spotted in lidl the other day as well I've been patiently saving these to share with you guys for any other Ritter Sport lovers and winter lovers because they have a new winter edition range. So these ones are in coconut macaroon. They had a whole stand when you first walk in with all of these on. So coconut macaroon. Then there is also caramelized almonds. And this one, I can't believe I only bought one of spiced biscuit so that'll be that kind of speculous lotus flavor which i know i'm gonna love i honestly don't know why i only picked up one of them but i had to share with you 
those i've got an itchy eye and then i also picked up the sweet freedom cinnamon syrup i've got a few other syrups for my coffees you could pop this on like porridge in the mornings or use in desserts it's quite low calorie this one it's only 13 calories for a teaspoon is that teaspoon or tablespoon it might be a teaspoon and then last but not least in the sale they had these from the luxury collection there, rediffuse that they do, bergamot, ginger and vanilla. So I thought that was kind of seasonal with it being orange packaging and also the smell of ginger, that kind of spices that fill your home. I remember I had a ginger white company candle, was it last year or the year before? And I really liked it. It was really fresh but spicy wasn't too sort of sweet and sickly. Okay, moving on, let's go to TK Maxx now. Switch things up. Oh, crikey, this is heavy. Okay, <laughs> let me just pop that down. The reason why it's so heavy is I picked up some more crockery. This range I have been loving and building a bit of a collection. I've got some server bowls, pa um, like pasta bowls, cereal bowls, but I didn't have any plates with this bobble edging. So I picked up four big ones because they only had four. I was hoping for a set of eight. So if anyone spots these in their TK Maxx that might be local to Manchester, let me know, because I need to pick up another four. They're 2 dollars each. And then the rest of this bag is filled with the side plates. So these ones are 2 dollars each. And I did manage to pick up eight of those. So I've got a full set of them. And then a couple of other bits that I picked up from TK Maxx. This I thought was so adorable. It's seasonal, but it's not sort of in your face seasonal. It's kind of farmhouse vibes. So it's a little soup thing, mug. But I just love the little pumpkin embossed pumpkin design. Absolutely obsessed with that. And this is only 3 dollars I also picked up this candle, which is something that I've seen before and actually would look good on one of these stands, even with the labeling on, because I'm obsessed with this cute little ceramic label that it comes with. I think I might take off the external wrapper and actually pop this back on it because it's got a little, like I said, ceramic decoration with a leaf on it. And this is from DW Home in TK Maxx and it's in the scent Falling Leaves. This was 4 dollars kind of pricey for one pillar candle and they did actually have a bigger one. So in hindsight, if I'd have known I was buying these, I probably would have bought both. But how nice will that look with the hanging ceramic decoration? I obviously just have to be careful if and when I burn it that this moves down or is removed. And then I also got this candle, which I've seen in there before. Now that I have decided, we have decided, that the top floor, oh, that smells good, that the top floor is having elements of green, like a nice forest dark green. The tiles, you may be following on my Instagram Homer account and may have seen sneak peeks of the green tiles that we've gone for. They're a really deep green, so I, spotted this and it's in the scent full foliage which is exactly that that is spot on it's kind of woody citrusy fresh oh, it just smells so good so this one was 7.99 and it's from again dw home i also got something else in that color let me see if i can find it okay this is the other thing that i picked up in that kind of color scheme to go in tom's I say Tom's room, so essentially the loft space we've converted and designed into what could be a spare bedroom with a sofa bed, but the majority of the time it will be used for Tom's bathroom, Tom's kind of wardrobe space and also office space. It's gonna be set up more like a walk-in wardrobe office with the ensuite but with a sofa bed in there as well, should we have guests. So his desk, I thought, would look really nice with this on top of it, with him having, um, I've got a couple of other books in this colour that we actually got from his granddad's house. So we've saved them. I thought that would look nice stacked on top as well. I love the kind of just embossed design on the front. So this one was 5 dollars And because he's got like a wooden floor up there, he's got an exposed wooden beam. We've got elements of brown in there as well, which I saw this candle. I loved the smell of it. So decided to pick that one up as well. I thought they could either go side by side or separated throughout the room. And this one is in the scent cedar embers. So it is seasonal, but it's again, not the typical pumpkin-y Scent. This is really masculine. If they'd have had a bigger candle in this scent, I would have got it because I do really love that. 
crushed vetiver, rich hickory and warm oak, blend with pure cedar and touches of earthy moss. That is exactly what it is. Okay, then I also picked up this from T. We actually got a few TK Maxx bits in here. Maybe could have done a home since TK Maxx haul, but anyway, this set of soaps, believe it or not, I loved the box. I thought it was so pretty, that kind of rustic style. I just love it. And the scent of these as well. It they are in the scent Nordic Pine. Now, if you know me, can't smell anything because of the plastic. <laughs> if you know me, you'll know how much I am a lover of the pine kind of woody scent. So this is definitely something that I had to pick up at only $4.99. You get a set of three soaps. But honestly, I can't part with the beautiful packaging. Two more bits that I picked up. This for in the kitchen. It's kind of seasonal. It looks cute, but it's not seasonal, let's face it. it kind of looks pumpkin-like, but it's not. It's just a garlic-shaped garlic storage pot, which I thought was cute to have just out on the side. $3.99 that one was. And then I also got for the kitchen these from Rain and Humble. They are just a set of cleaning cloths in this kind of natural fabric texture. These retail for £9 and I got them for £3.99. I also got from TK Maxx this fragrance. It's like a room spray but I love the bottle. It's like a glass really good quality and one that would definitely just look really nice on display. The labelling, the font, everything, I love it. It's also got a wooden lid and it's in the scent of vanilla, cedar and tobacco. 5 99 this one was. And I love it. Well, I got one thing from Dunelm at four pounds and I've never tried their wax melts from their Edited Life range. So I decided to pick some up in mint for in our kitchen wax melt burner. And these are so fresh. I feel like these will be ideal for when you're cooking or after you've been cooking to just light one of these wax melts so that you kind of disperse the cooking smell in your kitchen. It's just really fresh and minty. And then from Wilco's, you may remember from my uh, one of my last hauls, I mentioned that they have the pumpkin spice latte plugins, which are still on half price. So I decided to get a top up just so that I've got it for when it runs out. And I think, <clears throat> Excuse me. I think this was like one pound something. And then this little tea light holder. This one I actually think I got last year in the sale for only four pounds. So I decided to pick one up. I think Wilco's did have a second size last year. So I don't know if they're going to bring them back or not. But the fact that they were in the clearance, I thought, you know what? I'm going to grab another. Why not, hey? Um, Tesco's found a fun little purchase. Some cereal. I love the cinnamon, what are they called? Cinnamon cereals i don't know but these ones are the churros edition i love a churro but these are obviously just going to be shaped like churros and i got some cereal to include within this haul oh i've got a christmas present for someone here which i can't show but it's a book of sorts i'm just gonna put that to one side for now i'll show you these other two books all of which i got these from the works, someone actually sent me this on Instagram, so thank you, if that was you, and uh, you'll know exactly who you are, because you've sent me the Hotel Chocolat book recommendation before as well. So the works had a load of clearance prices, this one included, really aesthetically pleasing, good for my kitchen cookbook selection that I am gathering. It's from Lucy Watson, who you may or may not know from Made in Chelsea. She is a vegan, I think they've got a vegan restaurant, her and her sister. So this is called Awakenings, A Guide to Living a Vegan Lifestyle. I am by no means a vegan, but I do love vegetarian dishes. So I thought I might get some inspiration from this vegan book. It's not just a cookbook, there's loads of like reading material within here as well. And this was in the clearance down from $16.99 to just £3. And it's a really pretty kind of linen-y canvas cover. Now this is a bit of fun. So this was reduced from £9.99 down to £2. And I just loved it. It's called Dogology, and it's a guide to getting inside the mind of your dog. Which, to be honest with you, I just like the idea of having the black accent of a book stacked up like this. It says Dogology. Love it, with a cute little dog on the front. That's definitely, I don't think that should be included within an autumn and festive haul. But I suppose one of the books, which I'm not going to show, is a Christmas Prezi for someone. Okay, where did I get this one from? Home Bargains, I think. Just one purchase, Febreze, Air Mist, Cedar and Oak. I'm still on the hunt for the pumpkin stuff from Home Bargains. The pumpkin glass jar, but also I really want the pumpkin bowl and mug that they do in white. I've not seen them anywhere in about 
four stores local to me. I just can't find them. I don't know how some people have shelves and shelves of them because our local stores have had rubbish Halloween stock. So that's a bit disappointing, but never mind. Yeah, cedar and oak, I thought that sounded really, really good. Oh no, I tell a lie. I also picked up this from Home Bargains again in the cedar and oak. I thought that would go really nice with the air freshener. Should we just spray it a little bit? Ooh. Woods, like you're walking through the woods. So it's like an earthy kind of, not herby, but you know, like freshly cut grass. It smells like that. And then the last thing to share with you within this haul, I'm going to surprise you with a mega, mega bargain. So if you remember my last haul where I mentioned the Home Bargains Godiva chocolates reduced from 25 quid down to one pound something, they're now 5p. I went back in when they were like reduced to mega clearance. I honestly should have just brought a load of them. In fact, someone messaged me saying that they did buy just loads for anyone and everyone that they knew. They were reduced to just 5p. We've already finished the other box. My favorite one was the heart. It's got milk chocolate, hazelnut, praline in. Delicious. So if you can find these in your home bargains, they were on the, you know when you first walk into home bargains and they have a few like special buys when you first walk in, that's where they were. They weren't in the food section. So good luck because 5p, I'm pretty sure stocks will have gone pretty swiftly. Someone's come to join us. It's Mr. Barney. Right, you're gonna just sit there and just watch. <laughs> um, there was just one other thing that I wanted to mention. I've just realized that's why I've just gone in to grab the bags and I thought I'd bring this one in as well. Look how big he's getting now. Um, myself and Tom, we went to an event recently with a brand called Housing Units, which honestly, I've never heard of before. I've never been to one. It was completely new to me. I didn't know what to expect. But it was really interesting. It's definitely a place I'm gonna go back to. It's kind of like, it reminded me of a garden center without the garden center part of the garden section. Like it had all the Yankee candles, all of like homeware stuff, sofas, tables, lighting, all sorts. And they were basically inviting a load of people, excuse me. They're inviting a load of people down to um, launch their, or like showcase their new autumn range, of which they also hinted at Christmas. So I'm gonna be going back for Christmas because they've also popped in some vouchers, which is very kind of them. I thought I'd just briefly show you the goodie bag that they gave us. A couple of little tea towels with Be Happy on there. This is the actual brand. Bunny, no, it's not for you. <laughs> this is the actual branding and the autumn selection i mean it's honestly it's so much do it in fact I'm getting ahead of myself there was a dining table set and the chairs in particular these wishbone chairs i was obsessed with oh and this too they had the alpine lodge range but they also had this the back to nature range and that is the color scheme for tom's bedroom that kind of forest green Tom's bedroom. Crikey, we're not sleeping apart just yet. They also gifted us a couple of flasks each. I love that they gave Tom a goodie bag as well. So nice of them. So they gave me the copper one and also the silver one. And then we also got gifted a couple of the reed diffusers. The, this is in the scent um, Oud and Bergamot. We've actually got two of these. So these have been quite nice. I've never really had two of the same reed diffusers and I thought maybe like on a fireplace or something kind of set either end just to help give that kind of kick of fragrance. And then good little gift ideas as well. They included some Katie Loxton bits, this little eye, what's it called? <laughs> Keep yawning. And then they also sent this, which again, good little gift idea in a box, a little journal, calendar, notebook type thing and then also candle in pomegranate rouge oh pomegranate rouge i've never heard of that pomegranate noir usually isn't it so oh it's quite a fruity pomegranate it's nice though and then also some glass cleaner they did give us some sweets that they're in the kitchen this is glass and mirror cleaner from their own brand what is that that's weird why has dad put a cleaning cloth in there that was his gift bag strange i bet he's 
that's what he's done. He's used this with that and he's just popped it back in the bag. He said he cleaned our laptops with it. Oh, what's he like? He sat himself on my lap. He's a big baby now. You're a big baby now. So, yes, I'll definitely be taking a trip back there. Um, like I said, they've gifted us... Oh, I forgot to move the camera. They gifted us some um, vouchers. So I'm going to be heading back to check out their Christmas range yet again. I mean, I've already seen the sneak peek of it when we went. But there's definitely some bits that I want to pick up. So, um, yeah, maybe like a little Christmassy trip to the housing units at some point very soon. So that is everything that I have picked up. If you like these kind of combined hauls, a bit of fashion, a bit of homeware, miscellaneous type items, food items, just all sorts, basically just a random haul, then let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you do want more videos like this and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you can hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. They do become a bit more sporadic as we lead into October and November just because I have so many different video ideas and content type things that I can create. Obviously, we've got a load of renovation vlogs as well coming up with us being very close to being upstairs so that we can start renovating down here, which is so exciting. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.